Yo, sixth grade, I'm back. You gotta watch two of these videos. I'm making two. Uh oh, and the music's gotta turn off here. All right. And the second one we're gonna talk about is we're actually gonna talk a little bit more about deposition. We're gonna finish off what we talked about last time, and then we're gonna move on to how what kinds of factors contribute to how fast streams can erode landforms. Okay. Um, so right now, so actually another way that deposition helps is we have soil on floodplains. Okay. So what I mean is, whenever you have a floodplain and uh, the floodplain floods the area, a lot of sediment is deposited on the land whenever the flood goes away. Okay, so you know, oh man, here's a river, you know, and here's some like land on the sides, and then whenever it floods, you know, this is one picture, and then whenever it floods, I guess the flood picture would look like ah, everybody's covered in water. And it's all underwater. And then finally, when it goes back to being a river, a lot of sediment has been left on the land. And that sediment is actually going to be in red, I guess. A lot of sediment, like minerals and all sorts of stuff from the stream, have been left on the land. And that's actually what makes it easier to grow food. Um, that's why the, the river, the area right around the Nile River, is a very fertile area because the Nile floods pretty much regularly. And that contributes to. Um, it's for it's fertility. Uh, um, so, what also I'll draw here is I'll just draw write some words for you guys. So, this is a regular river of sorts, and then it floods, yeah, and then it goes back or recedes, right, and leaves sediment, and that sediment can be minerals, minerals. And all those minerals are left in the soil, and it helps it be healthy. Okay? All right, the last thing we're going to talk about is how or how or what factors contribute. Whoa, that says factors. Contribute to this. Ha, ah, man. To the speed. of river erosion, okay? The main two factors that contribute is, and I'll put these in different color here, are, sorry, are the slope, which means how steep the river is flowing, you know? So like if it's like that kind of steepness, it's going to erode most likely less fast and have less power, right? The water will be not pushing less hard unless, if in the the river is like that. So here, the river erodes stuff a little bit slower than it would if it's here. And I'll put some water on there if that helps you guys see that a little bit better. Here, here's some like water. So right here, whoosh, river's going down. It's like taking a little bit of sediment with it. But here, it's like, whoa, lots of sediment's going. Okay. Um, also, the amount of water, the volume of the flow is what it says. Okay. That means if there's more water, so volume of flow, which means more water means more erosion. Okay, that's the bottom line. Um, and that makes sense, right? There'd be more power behind the river if there was, so here's a little river, you know, a little bit of erosion. But if the river was huge, like the Mississippi, if you've ever seen it, it's pretty big. Here, I'll put some water in there. The river's really big, there will be a lot more erosion taking place than with a little river. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll just, one more thing I just want to get across to you guys is the amount of sediment that a river carries is called its load, okay? So there will be a higher load in a steeper slope. There will also be a higher load in a bigger river, which makes sense. That's the amount of sediment that will be carried in it, okay? Um, I know this video is made kind of fast, but I hope that you guys all get it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. And I got some time left over, so I'll play them both.